that low level call is looking for other members of the pride. Oh. <laughs> almost a sigh. Oh, come on, guys. It's almost that, that, that what you get when you're trying to phone someone who never answers their cell phone. Like, phew, come on, answer your phone. But so, sorry, Aretz. Um, Aretz is asking, do you, members of the Pride have favorite members that they're less likely to spend more time away from? Uh, I wouldn't say so. I'd say a, a Lion Pride is a very close... Every time I start to answer your question, she starts contact calling again. But a, a, lion, a lion pride, a female lion pride, even mm -hmm. a man. Even a male coalition is a very tightly formed bond. And I'd say they're equally excited to see all members of the pride. Now, the genetic strength of a lion pride rests with the females. So, lioness will generally take a bit more care in raising female cubs, which is the opposite to a leopard, where the genetic strength, even for the females, lies within the male. So, that is why f female leopard take more time to raise male cubs. It'll spread their genetic line further and wider, whereas with lions, the genetic strength lies with the pride as the males chop and change about every four or five years. Okay, sorry, I just need to be on the radio. Ah, copy, Orbi. I'm sure that's the Mafazi we saw. She was going quite quickly up that drainage. Um, we've still got one, one Sati here on at Bovuzok Dam, and those two Madora, I think, were left unattended at North Rock Road Junction with Gauri bus also cut down. are getting a bit stronger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 